Okay, let's see how many takes it takes to get through this. Uh, this is the first one. <laughs> Maybe I'll be lucky here. Now, if you follow my mouse from right here all the way across to right here is exactly one inch. This is the edge of my, uh, my caliper when I measured the chain. Remember when we needed to know uh, how many links there was per inch uh, to see if it was uh, compatible with the chain that Tony had? Anyway, yeah, we got, we got one inch from here to here. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, if you take and divide that one inch by 100, which I have done, you see these little very, very faint white lines here? From here to here to here, so on. There's exactly 100 of them. You don't need to count them. Um, I got it right. Um, at least I think I do. Uh, and if I don't, it's so close, it's not going to make any difference. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I got exactly 100 segments from, from one side of the caliper to the other. And, I, and by the way, I did set the caliper as close as I could to exactly one inch because we wanted to get the correct measurement for the chain, right? Anyway, let, let's get on here. All right, now I'm going to remove some of these some of these segments because we're we're not going to be they're going to be in the way here in a moment. So, let's just, just remove them here. Okay, now they're out of the way. Now, <clears throat> there's still <clears throat> excuse me. My voice is going. There's still uh 10 segments left. Now, if we were to divide each one of those segments by 100, and I'm going to just zoom in here to show you that I actually did. Now, it, it sounds complicated, but on the on this Corel draw on the computer, it's it's quite easy. Okay. Now, now each one of these segments then would represent ten thousandths of an inch. 100 times 100 is 10,000. So we have ten thousandths of an inch going on here. Like like from here to here was was a ten was a hundredth. So if you divide that by a hundred, you got ten thousand. Anyway, I think I'm pretty sure you can follow that. Okay, let's let's get back out again. All right. So we've got our ten uh, our ten segments here, and which are which are uh, a, a hundred each. So you got 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9, 10. Now I've duplicated this whole thing and I've dropped, dragged it down over here. This is an exact duplicate. I have drawn a, a square here that starts at segment number one and goes over to segment 854. So we have 854 ten thousandths of an inch. Okay, now I should be able to grab onto that square. Okay, now we'll bring it up over the links. Okay, let's just see how close that is. You know, that's that's pretty close. Let's let's try one that's uh, more laying on its edge. You see that? That that's actually quite good. Maybe I'll maybe I'll move in a little closer here. All right, let's try another link. We'll just move over here. You know, that that's uh, almost dead on. Try this next one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now I'm I uh, I'm not using any kind of camera tricks here or adjusting it so that I'm, it looks like I was right or anything like that. But you can see that you know 854 ten thousandths is a is a pretty accurate figure. It might be a little bit one way or the other, but but that's that's not the point. We just want I just wanted to see you know could could I do it the same you know come up with the same answer doing it you know on the computer. Um, Okay, let's move back out here a second. Uh, where are we going with this? Oh yeah, so we want we wanted to see 
was is 854 ten thousandths times 200 actually just under 17 inches and yeah it is so in other words this chain that we're looking at here um, that we're using on the hood if it was if it was enlarged 200 times that would be pretty hefty one of those links would be pretty heavy um, you know maybe I'll check and see what was the actual size of an anchor chain um, you know on, on a real ship of that size that is uh, were, were the links really the, about that big? I, th I kind of think they were. Now, mind you, uh, let me just zoom in a little bit here. I'll, I'll move in on the one where the square is. Okay, now on the anchor chains, though, there was a piece going from here to here. It was, it was welded in place. I think it was probably to keep the chain from tangling up. Uh, that, that was what I got out of it anyway. So, so this chain is not exactly right. Uh, it could be that you can buy... Uh, chain that, that, that has this little piece in here that maybe even looks better, but you know, no, we're not going to see it anyway. What you're looking at here I got from the HMS Hood Association, and yes, the anchor chain on the hood, the links were longer. I had I'd calculated the, that the ones we had worked out to just over 17 inches long. Well, it looks like they were, what, close to 20 there? Uh, 1 foot 8 inches, that would be 20 inches. So, uh, yeah, the anchor chain was bigger. Those of you who thought that the chain I've got looks a little bit small, well, you were right. Uh, but this is what we got, and this is what I'm going to put down. Now, if you want to see some really large anchor chain being manufactured, just go on YouTube's uh, uh, site there, and uh, in the search box, just uh, key in large anchor chain, and yeah, there's some really big anchor chain being made. Now, you got to remember that when the hood was uh, 100 years ago, uh, the hood was a large ship, but it nothing compared, at least in weight, to what we have now. So anchor chains are bound to be a lot heavier. Okay, enough trivia about the anchor chain. And enough wasting time giving information that nobody really wants to know anyway. Okay, I do believe that I've got these figured out here. <clears throat> now there's, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, there's paint in that slot. So it's may not want to fit in there. Okay, maybe I'll just move the camera around at a bit of a different angle here. Okay, let's try this again. I've drilled the hole out just a tiny bit there. And this is supposed to go in something like that. Whoops. I'm thinking that perhaps I have drilled the hole out too much. Okay, that is supposed to go like that. And then these things here, which are now trimmed, For some reason, my coordination is bad this morning. It's supposed to go in those holes like that, very gently. Okay, then Okay, I wonder if it would be better if I was to glue these pieces together before I try to put them in the hole and then they'd be sort of like a, like a tripod. Okay, what if I was to glue that on there like that? 
and then I'd set it in place as a tripod. Now, that is not what I really wanted to talk about. What I really, okay, so it's supposed to go, let me get it here. Okay, it's supposed to go like this. Now, let's pretend that I had these glued in place. Okay, there's, there's, they're going to be extremely fragile. Yeah, I drilled the hole too too big. That's okay. The the glue we can we can fix that when we put the the extra thin there. It'll ah oh, come on. What did I want to talk about? I've been having so much trouble here. I forgot what I wanted to mention here. Okay, so this is going to be sticking out like this. This part here, I can. It almost wants to break off just by <clears throat> excuse me, just by looking at it. And uh, I'm thinking that maybe th these are other pieces that should go on last. Um, maybe even after the railing is on. See, could the railing be put on if this was like that? I think so. Are these supposed to be over the side or are they supposed to be to pick up something off the deck? Maybe I'll try and find some pictures of the of the hood that shows that. Uh, there, after all, there there is four of them. There might be some on the stern as well. But there's one goes here, one goes here, and then the same on the other side. Okay, what am I going to do now about this hole that I drilled out slightly too big? Try and get rid of some of the little burrs here. Well, I was thinking of filling it in with sprue goo. But why not just fill it in with paint? Now I know that right now you think, well, the, you know, the post isn't going to want to go in there. But what's going to happen is this paint is going to shrink and there will be a hole there. Um, we can check it out tomorrow if I think of it. The more I thought about it, the more I liked the tripod idea. I think it's going to make it a lot easier for painting and also for when it comes time to mount them on the deck. I'll zoom in here in just a second. Okay, now the idea is that that is going to uh, turn into sprue goo and after about an hour it should be uh, as though it were one piece. At least that's the plan. As I'm sitting here editing out this scene right now I'm realizing that I put on way too much extra thin and I'm a little bit scared. Are we going to dissolve too much of that plastic? Well, we'll check it out in a few minutes. I'll put the super macro on. We'll look real close. Okay, we are now five times closer than we were before. And, uh, I, th I think it's pretty well set. About 50 minutes has passed. Five zero. Probably just knocking it out of the out of the focus here, but it, it does appear to be to me that it has completely solidified. It might still be tiny bit soft though.
Well, I don't think we're going to get these painted today, but we might get them mounted on the masking tape. I think they're probably strong enough now that they can be dropped without breaking. Let's see if it'll stand up all by itself. No, that boom part is just too heavy. Okay, gonna have to remember now, handle them gently. Now I'm using the double-sided tape on this mainly because it sticks really well. This this tape is much more adherent than this is. Uh, at least I think so. So being as I've got just a very small area being held down by the masking tape, um, I want to use the what sticks the best. Okay, let's quit poking at it before I break it here. It's been a long time since we've heard that little tune. I used to use it a lot down in the workshop, remember? Now, I think I might be able to figure out where these go um, without a little map here to tell me, but like this one and this one are supposed to be mirror image of each other, and I guess they would have to go on the uh, on the proper gunnel, otherwise the, the way the rope would go through would be the wrong way. I don't know if anybody would actually notice that or not, but uh, okay, A29, it's the last one. We are ready to spray. But is it, do I have enough time, I wonder? I don't think so. I'm noticing this one here, it's got one of its legs lifted. Must think it's a dog at a fire hydrant or something here. I guess I'll just check those just before I spray. Um, I think we're going to leave the spraying until tomorrow's episode. So thanks for watching, and all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.